quick check in with part four of uh, the Ice Palace by uh, F. Scott Fitzgerald, where yes, we 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 definitely. If, if you needed any any questions about that, there's plenty of racism in the North as well, uh, where uh, Harry is running down Southerners in general. He's running down white Southerners and saying that they basically have become lazy and shiftless like black Southerners, they, like they've been infected or something like that. And yeah, yeah, so that's, you know... Just in case you're you're thinking that Northerners were not racist assholes as well at this time, they certainly were. And just just how they would equate, you know, well, lazy and sh shiftless is is a black thing, and oh, it's it, obviously it's infected the white Southerner, and that's why. So it's just really gross. Um, but we definitely have more in this section uh, that Sally Carroll despises the women, um, finds that they are you know, listless, basically more, mostly just domestics. They don't get to carry any of the conversation in mixed company. That's all done by the men. Uh, and yeah, the men aren't interested particularly in hearing from the women. Um, you know, she, she does do, she does do some play, but she finds it's like, oh, these are such a dour lot that you no know, play is only something that seems to be reserved for children. She's just being humored as a uh, sort of a, girl child herself but this is something that's not going to be something that's good. she's going to get allowed to do uh as a mature woman in uh this this thing and we end with with her um you know after having a fight about the south and harry making sweeping general generalities which she hotly uh protests against um they make up she wants to maybe have the marriage earlier because you know oh all this unpleasantness if we got married this unpleasantness wouldn't happen she's like yeah, the, you'd know the unpleasantness would happen. You'll just be uh, welded together and she wants to get married early. And he's like, no, we're getting married in March. Don't be a fool kind of thing. And, um, you know, she apologizes. He's still a little bit ir irritated, but oh yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and um, and uh, there's a vaudeville thing and they play Dixie, which really, uh, really is something that, that, that gets her uh, her own old ghosts were marching by and on into the darkness as the fights whistled and sighed in the low encore that seemed that seemed so nearly out of sight that she could have waved she could have waved goodbye. So we're we're definitely still getting like the romance of the South there, and uh, her as a uh, rich white young white woman. That's all romance uh, that she's thing, and this is even though she's like, well, no, I didn't want to be well to be married to one of these white southern southern guys but that has no you don't you you can't you you have no right to criticize them uh and call them lazy and shiftless or rumpled and uh basically fallen it doesn't feel like they're the old aristocratic south southern gentlemen this is the fallen south uh obviously the post post civil war um ruined uh white arist 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 aristocrats you know he said the only um Southern aristocrat he met turned out to be a northern carpetbagger who had gone down to the south and bought up all the cotton uh, mills and all that in the area. And that this was the son of that. And that's the only one who actually seemed like an aristocrat, but it turned out it wasn't even a southerner. So yes, we're definitely getting uh, that divide, but we're also getting just all the racial politics as well. Um, summed up in, uh, you know, getting... Uh, presented presented in the story i'll leave it there more videos later